today we're going to be discussing recognition of revenue, but purely revenue from interest earned, dividends received, or royalties received. So these all fall under the category where you are receiving revenue from letting other people use your assets. Okay, so let's quickly discuss the basic principle for all three of these. And this is actually going back to the framework, but it's also referred to in IAS 18, paragraph 29. There are two recognition criteria. First of all, it must be probable that the future economic benefits associated with this transaction will flow to the enterprise. Okay. Second of all, there must be an amount of revenue that can be measured reliably. Those are exactly the same recognition criteria that we found in the framework. Then the standard goes on to give some specific guidance. So let's have a quick look at these. First of all, for interest. For interest, we must use the time proportionate basis that takes the effective yield into account. So ladies and gentlemen, in other words, we must use the effective interest rate method. Okay, we will do a class example shortly after this to illustrate what that is. Then we're going to discuss royalties and any other contractual income that relates to intellectual property. Well, here, again, we draw on the framework idea or concept of accrual accounting. Okay, so here the accrual basis must be used in accordance with the substance of the agreement. Okay, last but definitely not least, dividends. Dividends, well, dividend income, remember, that's what we're talking about here, income, revenue, will only be recognized when the shareholder's right, that is you, okay, you're receiving the revenue, when your right to receive the dividends is established. Not the date it's declared, etc. Okay? Now, under most um, legal systems, for final dividends, your year-end dividends, this will be for listed companies here, when you're talking about the last day to register for those dividends, for some administrative reasons, there are, might be some days between the day that you have the date the dividends is declared, okay? whereas it will be a different date compared to the day that it's the last day to register where the JSC or the New York Stock Exchange closes off the registration date for those dividends, and the final date will be the date when you actually receive. Okay? Interim dividends usually will be have the right to receive established when it's actually paid because under most legislative environments, interim dividends are declared by directors but can be reversed out by shareholders. Okay, thank you.